students. Today's slide deck is all about writing proposal arguments. Um, you'll use some of these skills with your slide deck presentation and project, but also um, much more intensely when we start putting together your ideas from the slide deck into the proposal paper when, uh, when I return from leave. So take notes. Let me know if you have any questions via email, and I'll see you soon. All right, so writing a proposal paper, or even just presenting a proposal argument, really, is what we're going to talk about today, um, because you're going to be using the proposal argument strategy with your slide deck as well. So the purpose, if you haven't encountered this before, it's to provide change, reasonable change. Um, and there are two different ways to kind of do it. You can propose that there be change about practices, so um, that the behavior of certain people needs to change, or, and I call that kind of a bottom up, a more grassroots approach to it. The second way that you can create a proposal is more about um, uh, policy. So the second way is, is all about kind of doing a top-down change so that, uh, you know, an institution or a government or some kind of large body with power creates some kind of law or guideline that radically changes something um, and then incites change for the masses. So when you're thinking about your proposal, you want to think about your approach. Is it top-down or bottom-up? That's kind of the first decision you need to make. Um, proposals call for change. They're they're often in a response to a specific problem, right? They don't kind of they don't exist in a vacuum or an echo chamber. They focus on the audience and the future, so that you're really speaking directly to your reader in a lot of ways in a proposal. When you're developing your proposal, the components are first and foremost you want to explain the problem that needs a solution. So you're giving your proposal context. You then want to make a super strong claim that uh, addresses the, the problem or need. So what exactly is your proposal? This would be akin to your um, thesis statement. And it should be solution-oriented and action-oriented and all about inciting change for the future. The majority of your proposal argument is why and how it's going to fix this problem so that you're going to incorporate research. Um, not only can you incorporate maybe other programs modeled that you modeled your program or, or proposal on, um, and then you want to make sure that your proposal is feasible. This screenshot um, of the outline, you, you might want to you know, come back to this when you're starting to organize your actual paper or even when you're just organizing your slideshow project because it should follow the same structure in terms of how you are organizing your slides and your paper so that your reader can easily understand where you're going with your proposal and um, and how you intend that change to happen in the real world. So breaking it down even further, when you are introducing your issue that you want to change um, or improve, you, wanna, you want to create a vivid picture uh, and really emphasize why it's important. So this is where your passion can come out. Um, your claim should be very, very specific in terms of you know, what needs to be changed and how it's going to be changed and and how it's going to be adopted and whether or not it kind of sh follows that, that community-based change or that top-down kind of law or rule change. When you want to um, kind of get into the meat of your proposal argument, you want to take the time to show exactly how this will um, change and fix the issue. That viability is really important. Um, showing the feasibility of it, that it's based in reality, that this could actually happen, uh, is very, very important for a successful proposal argument. So, you know, try and think 
with your, your feet on the ground here and how change could really happen.